Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a fun thing to do. We're actually going to evaluate the integral from zero to one. And you're probably like, what? That's not very fun. Well, let me show you how much fun it is. Integral from zero to one, x squared dx is equal to x cubed over three from zero to one. And that's like uh, one cubed over three minus zero cubed over three and uh, I guess it's like one-third uh, that's wrong why is that wrong that's wrong because we want to do this integral using integration by parts so that's the fun part of today we're actually going to do this integral using integration by parts and we're never actually just going to use the power rule on x squared we'll use the power rule but we will not use the power rule to evaluate integral uh, x squared. So let's start off. We have integral 0 to 1 x squared dx and let's do integration by parts. So we're going to pick a u equals x and dv equals x dx. All right, so du, the derivative, is just going to be dx and v is going to be 1 half x squared. So yeah, we did use the power rule, but we did not use the power rule on x squared. We only used it on x here. So let's see what this gives us. Integral from 0 to 1 x squared dx using integration by part is going to be 1 half x cubed from 0 to 1 minus integral from 0 to 1 1 half x squared dx. So it's uh, that trick. It's that trick that we see often. We see some integrals that have, you know, integration by parts where you have to solve for the integral. A couple of those integral examples would be um, secant cubed x and e to the x cosine x or e to the x sine x. You have to solve for the integral in those cases. So let me just simplify this a little bit. We'll get one half times 1 minus 0, 1 squared, or 1 cubed, minus 0 cubed. So basically that's just 1 half, minus 1 half, integral from 0 to 1, x squared dx. So I have a negative 1 half integral x squared on the right. I have a 1 x integral of x squared dx on the left. I'm going to combine that on the left-hand side. That's going to give me 1 plus 1 half times the integral from 0 to 1, x squared dx equals 1 half. So now on the left, we have 3 halves times the integral from 0 to 1, x squared dx, which is going to be equal to 1 half. So now solving for the integral, we get multiply both sides by 2 thirds. So we get the integral from 0 to 1, x squared dx equals two-thirds times one-half, which is one-third. And that is how we wanted to integrate this. So yes, of course we get the same answer. It's not change, it's still one-third. But the method we wanted to use was integration by parts. So just for funsies, we knock this one out of the park.